Hello everyone, I'd like to discuss some visibility graphics overrides setting for a view and specifically look at the detail level of a view that might be overridden. There you can see the instance property of a view and you'll also find that within a section that you will see on the screen there. Again, you might have this in a file or course or detailed view within your visibility graphics overrides. You are then able to alter whatever categories or subcategories you've got here. One that a lot of people forget about is that you've got the detail level available to you, which you can also leverage to your advantage. I'd like to illustrate the situation like that by virtue of using a door. So let's quickly load a door into this project. You can just grab one from the, from the library. All right, so we might have some other door that we're going to bring in. It's a nice large door and we're going to place that on the exterior of the wall over there. All right, now I've already got a section through that door. So if I open that section, we'll see the door in section. One of the things that we can do in families is to nest details into these families. I'll illustrate that to you quickly. When we illustrate, uh, when we edit that family, <coughs> we're allowed to input or insert a family from the detail components. Of course, you can also uh, sketch your own detail components. Let's just grab something for the uh, doors. Might be any old detail that we find over here that we might want to embed in our family. Just by way of illustration for now. So let's suppose this was an uh, aluminium window. And then what we do is we leverage one of the existing uh, reference plans or we just sketch our own reference plan that we can use. This one is called center L or R, center left or right. So if I go and put a section through the door, this is typically what we do. We open that section, we set the work plan to the correct reference plan, which is center LOR. We can always show that if we want. And then let's say that we want to input that detail item into our section. Now the nice thing about doing this is that the, the component, whenever it is sectioned within a project will now show that detail item for us. So let's just load this into the project because we're not going to bother saving this because it's just by way of illustration. And then opening this component There we can see the detail item, right? And regardless of the scale, it's going to show up. And the reason it's doing that, the reason why you can't control it, is because we haven't set the visibility graphics overrides of that component, that detail component within the family itself. Right? So that's also something you have to remember to do. Select the detail component <coughs> in its properties. You'll see that it's got visibility graphics overrides for that element, for that component, which geometry will be withdrawn. We're going to say it's only going to be visible within a fine detail view. Let's update the family within the project. All right. And let's have a look. There's the detail component. It's supposed to be switched off because it's not coarse. It should only show up and find. So what, what's happening over here? What's going wrong? Now, this is something you have to come to terms with when you are dealing with uh, projects, something for you to remember as well, is that the, 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 the door item, because this is a door, if you look at the door, you'll see that it's classified as a door on its type. That might be overridden as well, if you're wondering why it's doing that. There's the doors, and you can see how it's been set to be overridden as fine. If you do that by view and you apply that, then you'll see that switching out to coarse or medium will hide that detail, going through into fine, and it will show that detail. Now, for whatever reason, 
you might not want to see all the layered information on the wall so you might have this in a coarse scale but you still want to see the details of the door there so then you would have to override the graphics in the view visibly graphics override on the door so we're just doing instead of reverse we go forward and we're going to say you override all the doors only to show their detail item components within this view even though it is set to a core scale on our view if you do this to a lot of components or even if you just have a very specific way in which you want to set this up you can do that and if you want to apply it to more than one view then of course all your items that you find over there you can set up as a template a view template and what that allows you to do is to apply that to various different uh, views so we can use our view command under the view templates we can say create a template for the current view i'm going to say plan view section view show details and there we can see that the there's a graphics override of the model categories is included within the uh, settings right. so if you don't want to include something you can exclude that so if you want to be able to change the scale you want to exclude that from the view template whatever you require but importantly on the visibly graphics override you'll see that the doors on our set to show you fine regardless of the scale of the the core scale or the detail level of the view all right so once we've got that as a view template we can either make the view dependent upon that template in which case it will be enforced or if we don't want that if we just want to be able to transfer the properties we can at any time and just click on the view right click and say apply the view template properties from uh, let's have a look at the sections that will then apply those properties and you can even use shift and control to select multiple views to do that with from a view template you can either just apply the properties from the view template or alternatively so you've got two views selected you can make them dependent upon that view template as well if you choose Now each view independently is dependent upon that section we get Alright, so there's an extra bit of complexity that can be in introduced into the model. You can use that to your advantage, depending on what you do. Put some details into your families, let them into your projects, see them in sections. They might be in plan view as well, you don't have to have them in sections. They control the visibility and override the details visibility by overriding the detail level of the family categories within the visibility graphics overrides of the containing view. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that. Let us know at Market Graphics if you need help with that. And uh, until next time, enjoy Revit.